Hey, what's going on, people of the internet? It's Big Row around in here, and today we have a really nice game of solo Fortnite I got the other day. Ten kills, as you could see in the title. I'm not going to spoil if I win or not, so you just have to watch and see. It is a pretty good game, though, I'm not going to lie, so you might want to watch the whole thing. I've been having a lot of fun playing this game. That's why I've been uploading so many videos lately of Fortnite. It's just, honestly, the most fun I've had playing the game in a long time. Maybe since, like, The Division or something? People are like, ooh, The Division, that game kind of... I don't know, I liked it. But getting into this gameplay here, you can see it started kind of over a third or uh, no, over two thirds of the whole goddamn lobby dead. That's because it didn't record the first little bit. I already had two kills. Hope you all don't bother you too much because they were, they were pretty sick kills. I'm not going to lie, they were some great kills. But the next eight kills are also pretty great. Um, I started off landing in the houses back by, um, Burger Town, or Tomato Town, whoever you want to call it. I call it Burger Town because of MW3 and other Call of Duty games, but, yeah, I landed by Tomato Town, that's what I usually do in solo. I loot those houses, then I move in through Tunnel, that's why I did this game. I've been having a lot of fun playing solo. Solo is honestly really nerve-wracking sometimes because you can just get dropped out of nowhere by a random lucky sniper shot. So I usually prefer playing duos or squads, but you don't get the same, I don't know, adrenaline rush as playing solo. That's kind of like get going for a MOAB back in NW3, another COD reference, but you used to get such adrenaline rush trying to go for a MOAB. But you get the same thing when you're one of the last few people in a solo match. Uh, Fortnite, I feel like, oh, here I'm creeping up behind a guy. It's one of my favorite strategies to use is to place lower, farther back towards the, um, barrier and then try and catch people creeping up inside. The longer you wait by the barrier, the more chance you get to flank people. And I feel like that's a great strategy to use. Well, tips and tricks over here with Big Row. Maybe I should do a tips and tricks series like Team Martin did with Call of Duty back in the day. I don't think I'm good enough where I, oh. I forgot about this part. It was almost an end to a really great game right there. <laughs> Stupid traps. That's why I like to carry um, med kits. Because I always feel, especially in solo, this doesn't um, affect you as much in squads or duos, but in solo you always want to be 100 health. That's why I like to carry med kits instead of band-aids more often than not in a solo game. And if you're able to get extra shield pots, that's also... That's what I like to do. For my weapons... I usually have one auto rifle, one long distance weapon. Obviously, I have two right now. Um, and then one shotgun. And then med kits if I can and extra shield pots. That's like the like bottom line best setup you can have for in a solo game. Because med kits are the most... Or not med kits. Uh, shield pots are the most powerful item by far. Because you get the most health in the shortest amount of time when equipping one. Um... Yeah, I mean, shield pots are by far the best. And then med kits, you usually only want to use... Oh, another guy. That's where I get my scar, I'm pretty sure. That guy just got really unlucky. Oh yeah, freaking exotic scar from that guy. And then med kits, you only want to use usually after you've finished a fight. But if you need to, you can use it in the middle of a fight. Obviously risky since it takes so long. Um... Well, on the subject of crafting, I honestly don't craft a lot. You'll see in this game, I don't craft barely at all. Only to, like, get up over things. I really need to start crafting more. I feel like people that do usually um, have the advantage in the final circle, depending on the location. As you'll see in this, once we do get to the final circle, I'll spell that I do get into the final circle. I, You'll see what happens. Um, but talking more about Fortnite, this is honestly the first Battle Royale type game. Talking about The Division, that did have a Battle Royale uh, game mode called Survival, and that was only, I think, 24 people in a match. That was fun. I had a lot of fun playing that. I'm sure a lot of you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, because who freaking bought DLC in The Division, but it was a fun game mode. This is the first 100 person. I don't know if um, H1Z1 and PUBG are also 100 people, but I think they are actually. And I know PUBG is coming to PlayStation supposedly, so I probably will get that, but 
this is a great i like the cartoony feel of fortnite and there's obviously the more realistic h1z1 and PUBG games with like a lot more complicated uh, gearing up and health and bleeding and cars and all the other crazy stuff so i like the simplicity of fortnite i think it adds to the I don't know, overall aesthetic of the game here i'm just camping in a building like a camper i don't, I don't know I think I do end up seeing someone in here, if I remember correctly. No, that's why I'm looking over there, because I did see someone. There we go. Yeah, I see that. I, I spot that guy. That was a terrible play. I should have... Don't shoot someone if you don't know you can get the shots, which was just a bad play on my part. And I lost some shield because of it. Eh, maybe I would have lost shield anyway, but... It is what it is. Five kills, five more to go. What else? What else can we talk about? I want to talk about a little bit about another game that came out recently, Destiny 2, and how it's not as... Because I've made a first impressions video, and I was very happy with the game. And since then, I hadn't played the raid in um, Trials when I made that video, and I have now. I honestly do like the raid. I thought the there were some aspects that were better. I don't like the boss fight. I think Kalos is not a strong boss fight. I thought Crota... And Oryx are both better boss fights. I don't know. It doesn't feel as epic to me as Killing Crota or Oryx did. And it's all... I don't know. I mean, I'll put it on the same level as Axis. Axis and Kallus. Yeah, they seem to be grow going more and more towards the direction that they've kept in Axis and... um. Well, even Oryx. But I feel like the Oryx... Um, you know, where, like, every single team member has to have, like, one thing that they're doing. It's not, it's more, well, no, I guess it is team-based. Because there are two teams, one that goes into the dark world and one that stays out. And Oryx, there was, like, each person had their own step. I don't know, you know what I'm saying. It, it's just getting more and more complicated, it feels like. And it makes it less epic. My favorite encounters were probably Pleasure Gardens and Gauntlet. I think Baths is weak and was just a lame, boring, poorly thought out encounter. Honestly, the design of the whole raid is awesome. It doesn't it didn't feel as uh, like mysterious as the Vault of Glass or um, Crota's Ended, or even King's Fall. It all felt kind of mysterious. This one's more just grand and grandiose in scale, which I guess is what they're going for since it's supposed to be like a cabal battle cruiser something like that who knows and then talking about trials the first <laughs> the first game of trials i played it was me panning two randoms it was awful it went terribly but once i played with my i have a recording of the first time i went flawless i'll post it um later I don't know, i've just been on a fortnite grind lately but once i post the trials game um you'll see that i did enjoy myself playing with a team it feels like it does before even though it's four people it's honestly trials is the same as it was before very exciting very fun to play so they didn't mess up trials well i guess they kind of messed up the loot of the tokens yeah the token thing in general is just lame and stupid i know the whole community is really pissed about it and i agree because it is dumb they're starting to fix it um supposedly with the season update thing oh yeah in the video right now i'm using the bush strat I ain't gonna lie, this chat is super cheesy. And I, I mean, I, I'm not proud of using the bush strap, but it's fun. Well, not fun, it's just easy. I don't know. I don't, I don't wanna make excuses for using the bush strat. You can use the bush strat if you want, but I've said bush way too many times in this sentence. <laughs> um, I ain't gonna lie, I do use it to get another kill right here because I've used this. Using loot to bait people is a genius strat in this game. You guys, I've been using it a lot more often, and it works more often than not. People just get drawn to loot, and you can just bait them. If there's, if there's a bush right next to it, like, this is the greatest bush in the game, because it's in between a tree and a bush. Wow, I, I can... <laughs> Someone needs to give a, a counter for how many times I've said bush in the last two minutes, but... I don't know. Some people might consider it cheesy. I think it's fine. Because I've seen a lot of people nowadays, when they're in like the final, just shooting any bush they see, because they know people do this. So it's starting to become easily countered. It's not too bad. It makes the gameplay a little less exciting, but it's still a good game. I felt at least. 10 kills. Double digits. What's the most kills you guys have gotten in a solo game? This is by far the most I've gotten. I think I got... 
seven another time maybe i don't know back to trials though or back to just the loot and destiny in general some other things i think are a problem <sighs> the the perk based weapons where every single um weapon has the exact same perks i i'm still debatable on whether i like that or not I think I would like it more if the mods were a little more diverse. And they did add some kind of unique mods in the Iron Banner thing. I didn't get any. So if they add more of those, I think that would 100% fix the loot system with more diverse mods that, like, add special abilities to certain guns. So you could just be more unique, you know. Things could be a lot different in um, just Crucible and Trials in general. And not everyone's using the Mida and Uriels and Last Hope. So I think they will be able to fix that. I hate to say that you have to wait for the DLC and update to fix a game that should have been fixed when it was released because they had so many years to make it, but that's just the way it is sometimes, and that's kind of what's going to have to be, I feel. And yeah, it sucks, but you never want a game to be better a year after it comes out than when it did come out, but it's going to have to be that way with Destiny, it seems like. This is what it is. Bungie does what they have to do. Um... At least this game is pretty fun. I can't think of any changes that I would make at the moment to Fortnite. Let me think. Uh, not, not, not I got nothing. This game is perfect the way it is. <laughs> huh. Actually, I'm trying to think. What would you guys like? Yeah, leave down in the comments. What would you would like to have them add? Maybe more guns. That would be kind of cool. Um. Maybe, because I don't people don't really use traps. Maybe if they had more unique traps, people would utilize traps more. So maybe more traps, more guns. Um, maybe some type of, like, I feel like this would probably cause a lot of super lag if they, like, found some way to dyna or dynamicize, like, the map to make it where, like, sometimes it was snowy or something or raining. I feel like that would add too much lag. I don't know how that works, honestly. I'm not I'm not a game developer, but... That would be cool if, like, the map was different every once in a while. Actually, memorizing the map part of the strategy, too, though. So maybe that... Eh, eh, you decide. You tell me in the comments if you think that's a good idea or not. I've been doing a lot of camping this game. I feel like it's really important to so or the camp in solo more so than, like, duos or squads. Because you can just get dropped out of nowhere by a lucky person shooting you in the back. Or just a sniper shot like I'm trying to get off right here on this guy in the bush. I don't think I get this guy. If I remember correctly. Oh yeah, what a bad what a bad shot that was. I got such a sick sniper shot the other day. I was moving in on factories, the ones by um, Dusty Depot, and I saw a guy in a window, and I, I shot him above to trick him to go down in the window where I got like a sliver of his body, and I shot his body, and he, he got a freaking um, scar off of him. It was a big shot. I don't have a recording of it. I would have included it right here, but. So here you are nearing the end of the game. If you're if you're counting kills, you can see that I probably do win because how else would I get 10 kills if there's only three people left? So sorry for the spoiler, but this is honestly a great kill. Watch me build up here. I, I was like I was like so freaking nervous. I'm like, where is this guy? Is he behind me? If he was behind me here, I probably would have been the end. If he would have been able to drop me, and I would have had anything to do with or any um ability to stop him, because I was too busy building. Yeah, this is the most building you ever gave me. I've started to try and build forts. They are the ones where you have one on each side, or like a wall on each side, and then a staircase to kind of like create a sniper tower. Uh, I have a. I'm gonna start a series, or I guess kind of a series, where I do I like I I live um commentate a Fortnite game, and then I cut out the best parts. I try to do just do one solo game, but you never know if you're gonna do good or not. And I didn't do good in the game that I first did it on. So I'm just going to do like moments from each game and put them together. So I hope you guys liked this Fortnite game. Let me know if you want to see more. Actually, no, I don't want to do post commentaries at post. I don't want to do more post commentaries because I don't know. I feel like live comments are more entertaining to, er, entertaining to watch. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is probably be my last post commentary. I just wanted to show you guys this cool solo game I got. And then in the future, we'll have some live commentaries. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one.